What's up guys? Kira here from 50 Shades of a Mom. Happy hump day and happy day two of Vlogmas. Now you guys are actually going to see today's video in live time. I'm filming this just hours before you guys are seeing it because I'm a little off schedule and you can tell by the way my Vlogmas videos started for yesterday. So it's actually funny. I was reading some of the comments from yesterday's video and some were saying like, I like the way she did it last year where she showed the coffee and stuff and the countdown in the beginning and I made sure this morning to bring the coffee pot from the old house over here and set up my little coffee station and everything so I can be able to share the intro with you guys the way I always had intended to but yesterday was a sponsored video and with Black Friday and Cyber Monday and like the busy weekend I just didn't get a chance to communicate with them through email to get my video for approval and then it got approved on Monday but ain't no one messing with my grocery haul day. So it didn't go up until yesterday, which just so happened to be the first day of Vlogmas. So that really isn't how I wanted to set this up to go. So I am gonna let you guys know that I'm gonna do my best this year to kind of vlog each day as a regular day, even if it's a grocery haul, just to kind of include a little bit more of behind the scenes and make Vlogmas a little bit more fun. That's not, that's how I started. And then the last two years it got kind of crazy and I just shared my regular content and then tried to share a video every day. But I wanna do a little bit more like behind the scenes and just kind of give you guys a vlog style video amongst my regular content because we're setting up the house over here and it's just really, fun. We're all in good spirits. We're all having fun. We're decorating everything. And today I'm actually starting off in the bathroom with you guys because I'm sharing a Big Lots haul. And in typical Kira fashion, I could not film this haul fast enough to need some of the things that were in it. And one of them was this bath curtain behind me. So I mentioned to you guys in yesterday's video that I bought this curtain but i hadn't hung it up yet because i hadn't filmed the haul so i did save the packaging to share with you guys this way you could actually see the company name i'm not sure if this is a big lots brand specifically but it's Broyhill legacy 100 percent cotton shower curtain and it is a very thick and high quality I absolutely love it. It is a really nice fabric and it goes really good with that cuddle plushy liner. When I took a shower in it just before, it was perfect. Like I really love the way it looks. I think it complements the towels and the bath mat really good. It kind of ties everything in. That's the picture that I just brought in today from bringing in a load of stuff. And I think we're gonna hang it up over here. I don't know, it no longer meets the colors. You guys let me know what you think. I think that kind of clashes. I should look for something more muted like this. I'm not sure, I don't know. But once we get cabinets for here and here, then our bathroom will be done for now. But I needed a shower and I needed to go ahead and throw the curtain up. I've been just showering with the curtain liner, but I wanted to see you know, what it felt like on the inside to put a full curtain in there. But now, let mama grab her coffee. Gotta have my coffee, right? And then now we're gonna go inside here and I'll share with you, please excuse my mess. Again, we are moving. We don't even have our full furniture over here. Daryl and I have an air mattress. Like the kids have been playing the Wii. We're trying, you guys. It's like we are all over the place. But this is the accumulating pile of stuff that I needed to share with you guys because this is my Big Lots haul and I need stuff in here. Like the kids want to take a shower and here's their curtain rod and stuff. And today, Franklin, you guys saw in the intro, he has eggs and we had to sprinkle the sprinkles on it. Well, the eggs turned into Kinder eggs and the Kinder eggs are in there. So we have to get moving. You can see I'm wearing shorts because Usually when I do a sit down video, I like to be comfy from the waist down. So I already have my tripod there. I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna sit down and I'll share with you my big lots haul. All right, I'm sitting on the floor. I was gonna try and fix everything so you guys didn't see stuff in the background, but it is what it is. My closet's right there and there's stuff tumbling out of it because I don't have furniture in here, you guys. And this closet is not as big and we planned on getting furniture, but we just have a little bit of priorities because we're paying for both places for a little while. So until we're finally condensed in here, I don't wanna make any big purchases, buy furniture and all that. Like once we're settled in here and just these are the bills that we're managing, then I'll start buying other furniture, but we've never had a bedroom set. 
and we always had like a big enough closet and then this time right now we're using mason's dresser or we have been for the last year but once the kids go into their room they're gonna get their own dressers back they need it they've been sharing one and their stuff is like busting out so they need to go back to sharing their own dressers and we don't have anything yet so i think i'm gonna go this week in my grocery haul is for walmart and i think i'm gonna go and just buy like some of those plastic bins that look like dresser drawers and just put them in our closet for now and just use that until I don't know until I can figure everything out. So my closet is a mess, but I'm dying to share with you what's inside these bags. So one of the things that I picked up that I was excited about, it was $15, but Jake really loves his blankets and all of his cuddly stuff. He's just like me. Like I have stuffed animals and blankets that I've had my whole life. And he's that kid. He has this woofy that he's had forever. And I think he'll be 40 with his woofy just like I am with my unicorn. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is definitely Jake. And it's that soft, really comfy material. And it's a Central Perk Friends throw blanket. And it says it's super plush. And that's the picture that's on the blanket. So I thought that was a really universal love that so much and it was 15 bucks so i thought that was pretty good that shower curtain was a 35 so you'll see even though i spent a little over 200 almost a hundred dollars was three items and then the rest was just kind of like little stuff so you'll see i most of the stuff i remember the prices off the top of my head or they're on here so i'm not going to waste time putting them on the screen or you guys aren't going to see this until 10 o'clock at night so i'm just going to let you know as we go along all right jake i've mentioned is in love with gummy stuff and after going to big lots and picking up all the gummy stuff that i got i'm not going to put all of his gummy stuff in his stocking anymore i'm going to make a gift basket filled with all of these gummy things he actually put on his christmas list that he wanted like a one pound gummy bear that i think vanessa got him last year for christmas or my mom no i'm pretty sure it was vanessa got it for him and the kid was thought it was the coolest thing ever that it was a giant gummy bear and so he actually put it on his christmas list again for this year so my kid loves his gummies and i saw some really fun ones and i already picked some fun ones up from world market so if you missed that video i'll link it for you um but i found this one it's a gummy pizza and it was three dollars so i thought that was super cute and then Jake loves sushi and I found this little scummy sushi one and it looks so cute. Like look at all the little different components of the sushi and that was $3 as well. They had a burger, they had a hot dog and you guys will see in a minute that I bought the wrong thing and I have to go back. I might just go to the counter and swap it out or I may go and buy the burger and the hot dog too. I know it's like a crap ton of candy but it's what he asks for. He's like 16 and he has pretty much everything he asked for gift cards a few random little things and like candy because we you know he doesn't really want for anything and so it's that's what he enjoys and that's i want to get him what he enjoys all right i've been looking and big lots was the place that i used to be able to get it oh i have a fuzz i think it's from that friends thing and now it's like tickling my nose um I don't remember. I don't think it's Angie's because it's not Boom Chicka Pop. Is it? Now I can't remember. I have to ask Madison. Madison, let me know what the popcorn is that we are obsessed with. But I found it at Big Lots originally and they have a sugar cookie and they have like a chocolate peppermint bark and then they have a hot cocoa drizzle. And the hot cocoa is the absolute most amazing popcorn I've ever had in my life. And I would be willing to put on a couple of LBs just for that popcorn. This is close, it's not as good, but it's the Angie's Boom Chicka Pop Dark Chocolate Flavored Drizzled Sea Salt Kettle Corn Popcorn. It's all non-GMO and all the good stuff. So when I saw this, I picked it up, but it's not exactly what I was looking for. I really wanted the hot cocoa one. And I'm, like I said, I'm sad because Big Lots is usually where I'm able to find it. All right, I'm gonna wait on this because there's another one. And then I got these and I actually just went through my whole big gift bag thing and found a bunch of these. So I should have gone through that stuff before, but whatever, you can never have too much of these, right? So these were $3 and it's 52 foil gift tags. So I just thought they were kind of cute 
just to label the presents. So I grabbed that. Oh, the popcorn says it's $2.75, so there's that. So these were $14, and if you could feel them, then you would know why I thought that was a really good price. So it's PJ Essentials Kids Family Pajamas, and it says the word believe on the PJs. Do you see that? It's like has the buffalo check and the believe and the little Santa hat on the B and then the buffalo check pants. And I, Mason needs pajamas. He's in starving need of pajamas, but he also loves that word believe because he loves the Polar Express. So I grab these for him. Every kid needs a good pair of pajamas for Christmas, right? And then this is what I have to return. So Jake said he wanted to get Daryl Christmas lights. Daryl put Christmas lights on his Christmas list because when we were moving to Texas, we got rid of everything. Like if it wasn't good or new, we just tossed it. And last year we just got our pot in time for Christmas and we barely decorated the outside. So we have no lights and Dow said he wanted the LED ones and the sign said LED and I was pretty sure the box said LED but then when I got home I realized this is not LED so this is winter wonder lane 16 function and mini light sets multicolored green wire 150 lights it was $12 and it's good for indoor outdoor with the motion setting memory and so this is what I got for him but I have to go back and return it. And I think the LEDs were 15. That's what the sign said. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I'm, like I said, I have to go back and return it. So when I go to Walmart, the Walmart is right across the street from the big lots. And so I'm just gonna run in there and return it. But I'm a little disappointed about that because I wanted to be able to just, I need to cross things off the list. I don't wanna go to the stores anymore. I've actually made myself a deal. Uh, I'm going to the Dollar Tree one more time and it's because I have to. It's Mason's birthday and he wants an entire black and white birthday party because he wants it to be like Bendy and the Ink Machine and they do not have Bendy and the Ink Machine stuff like on Amazon party supplies. I've already looked. I've ordered some things but it's not enough like not like party stuff. So I'm going to go and get the black and white stuff. I said I have to go into big lots and return this and then I'm going to go in the stores for the rest of December once a week for my groceries instead of doing pickup because then I can look for the few other things while I'm going to the store. This way I'm only going out once a week. I'm getting my normal weekly groceries because we have to go out to do those things, right? And while I'm there, I'll try and finish my grocery shopping, grocery shopping, Christmas shopping rather, because I don't know what else to do. Not everything's gonna come in time that I'm already looking for on like Amazon and stuff and some things, I don't know, like some things I don't have ideas for. I like to walk through and say like, oh, they would love that. But if you can't walk the stores then you can't do that. So this has been like a challenge and I don't wanna keep going in and out. So I don't know. The whole point of that was I have to return the lights. This is why I don't know why you guys are still here. Anyways, I saw this sweatshirt and I would normally not buy clothes like this from Big Lots or something, but come on. That says I'm working on my Santa bod. And considering the fact that I lost all of my weight, well, not all of my weight ever, I didn't disappear. Although, hmm. Anyways, when I lost those 50 pounds, I put almost all of that back on. And that has just been like a, I don't know, I'm still recovering mentally from that because I was in such a good place from losing all of that weight. And I mean, that's why because I'm working on my Santa bod and I feel like if I put this on, I'm going to feel better about myself. And it is so cute as candy canes and gingerbread men and little cups of hot cocoa with whipped cream or coffee with a latte. I don't even know, but it's super, super cute. It's $15 and I actually just want to put this on today because we're decorating the Christmas tree. And so I think this is going to end up on me while we're baking brownies and doing all of that. So picked that up. This were some of the last things that I needed to get for my kids for their stocking were toothbrushes and these were a great price as it say on here. I think it was $3 for these and I think that's pretty good for the like spinny toothbrush and they're both by Firefly and I got Mason the Avengers and I got Maya Barbie. It's not either one of their favorites but for the price while I was there a toothbrush is a toothbrush and... 
I actually gave them their toothpaste that I bought for their stocking last night because we didn't have any toothpaste here at this house for them and they needed to brush their teeth so now I need to replace their toothpaste but I'm on my way that's something I can get from the grocery store right all right here are the Christmas kinder eggs and this is what our eggs that are sitting on the counter right now with sprinkles are going to turn into these were a dollar 59 a little pricey sometimes I can get these at the Dollar Tree but I haven't seen them in a little bit especially not the Christmas one so this is what Franklin is going to deliver tomorrow morning it's the little things you guys and I have been looking for pillows to fill my bench seat I want like the entire bench seat to be filled with pillows but I keep finding all different ones like just one of something that I like and then when I unpacked my Christmas stuff I found a ton and they all have the red truck on them so I know that I like the red truck but I mean really Kira, every single pillow that you buy has to have the red truck on it. So, I mean, you can't have like an entire row of red trucks that would look like a parking lot. So I wanted different things and I saw this one and I thought it was really pretty. I'm kicking myself because it's white and there's nothing in my house that's white that ever stays that way, but I love the white and I love the pretty little snowflake with all the gems on there. Like so, so pretty, absolutely obsessed with that cannot wait to put that downstairs so i will share that with you guys all right i gotta reach back here so another one of the like big things that we bought and this was also like 35 dollars or something and it's by the name kenny and this is a premium shower pole caddy so this shower doesn't even have a soap dish thing in it and it's weird those are the things that you don't notice like when you're coming to look at a house you don't look to see if the shower has a shower soap dish thing like that's just not something you think about and it's weird the way that it's set up because there isn't really a whole lot of room on the tub for you to even leave like your shampoo and all that kind of stuff and I hate the ones that go over the shower. Like I hate that. And it, we never had to deal with that because in our old home in South Carolina, we had the walk-in shower and it had built-in shelves. That's where we kept everything. So when we got to the house here in Texas, I didn't like any of those kind of ones that go over the shower, but the shower tub itself was a little wider. So we just kept like the shampoo and conditioner and stuff around the rim of the tub. But I didn't want to do this. And this one looked really awesome because it says it's a pole caddy. So you can see down here that the pole goes like all the way down to the corner of the tub. And then I believe it goes all the way up to the ceiling. So it like completely mounts it. So it's super sturdy. And I like that it goes in the corner because it saves on space. And then it has these three racks and it even has a toothbrush holder, a soap dispenser holder that comes off of it, a little hook to hang your loofah, a razor holding thing right here and then they show like a little washcloth through it so I thought for $35 this was pretty good I might have been able to get it cheaper at like Walmart or Target or something like that but on Amazon but I was in the store specifically kind of looking for this kind of stuff and while I was there I thought $35 was a good deal so we're gonna set this up in our shower today and then this was because of you guys so after my home tour one of you suggested that we get a curved shower rod to give the kids in their bathroom a little bit more room that bathroom is just a little bit tight and the toilet's like very very close to the shower if you guys missed my home tour i'll link it but the shower is kind of close to the toilet which is kind of close to the sink so it's not really a whole lot of elbow room and there probably is less elbow room in the shower so when you guys said get the curved shower rod i thought that was absolutely amazing now when i took a shower in my shower i was testing it out to see if there wasn't enough open space if we would need one of these but there's that bathroom's so open and the shower itself is wide enough that i wouldn't need something like this but i definitely believe that the kids do so this was like another 35 dollar um piece and it's by what's the brand oh kenny again and it says it adds six inches of space into the shower by the way that this um curves out and it says no tools required a rust resistant finish so again i thought that was a pretty good deal so i'm gonna put this in the kids bathroom and then they're gonna get my shower curtain that i have in my bathroom right now since we just got the new one no more like kitty stuff because there's like an, a two adults i mean jake and paul are both gonna share that same bathroom so no more like little kitty 
things. All right, two rolls of wrapping paper, and I think these were three, yeah, 350 each, and there's 100 square feet, so that's a lot, and I did get the buffalo check just because I love that look. It looks so nice underneath the Christmas tree, like all the boys can get the buffalo check, which I just, like I said, I really, really love that. And then I loved this too, just the muted tones. It says, let it snow. Is that all it says? Yeah, it just says, let it snow in black and in white on a gray background with the little evergreen trees. I love how masculine that looked. So I grabbed that. And then you guys know that I'm gonna be doing Christmas themed lunches. You guys will probably see that next week or mid a month. And when I saw the red and green tortilla chips, I had to scoop that up. You know, my kids love their nachos and their chips and all of that and their non-GMO, which I absolutely love that. And like I said, they're red and green chips for my kids to eat. So I hope they like that. That was $3. Like I said, the stuff was pretty inexpensive. The other things, um, it was pretty much those few big items. I felt like everything was $3 or $5. All right, and we're in our last bag now. And I will share with you these, which I'm super excited about. These were $5, and they are gingerbread little kits. Two are the same, so I'm going to put one down because I got both of the kids the same thing and then i got jake up the oreo so you guys know jake loves his oreo stuff so for five dollars i got him this little mini gingerbread house kit so i thought that would be something fun we can do this month and then i got the little kids this little min mini gingerbread house kit and it is elf on the shelf and like i said i got two of these so one day the elf is going to bring all three of these the little kids and we'll get the elf one and then like i said jake will get the oreo one but the elf is going to bring this one day and you know just tell them that we're going to do something fun and then look at this you guys annie's homegrown organic pizza cheddar bunnies what pizza cheddar bunnies what in the world I didn't even know these existed. I think my husband and my kids are gonna fight over these and they were $2, you guys, $2 for these. So if they like them, I may even pick up more when I go back to exchange the lights because I feel like they will love that. And then Bear Creek, all right throwback to my ride or dies who have been with me for years and years and years but dollar tree for a while was carrying the bear creek and i had stumbled upon some of their mac and cheese and stuff and fell in love with their products and then i couldn't find them anymore and then i stumbled upon some of their stuff in big lots and this was like two dollars or three dollars but this is a huge bag it's not like a single serving it's for a dinner and it says creamy cheddar pasta mix hearty rotini pasta in a creamy cheese sauce all you do is add water and i thought this would be really good to throw something in like maybe just add some shredded chicken or some ground beef and you can make like an instant hamburger helper but this bear creek brand is amazing if you ever see anything by them their potato soup is the bomb some of their mac and cheeses like their smaller package ones have all different flavors they're so they're so so good so my recommendation is to pick them up if you see them all right, I got a pretty bow and this was $6, which I actually thought was not bad because quality bows are pricey. Now, if you get them from the Dollar Tree, they're a dollar, but pricey bows are, like I said, expensive, the quality ones. And this is by Winter Wonderlane. Again, I think that's Big Lots. It's like a Christmas brand. And it says Merry Christmas with the red truck all over it. No surprise there. And I have a few places in mind for this. So I picked that up. And then I got some snack mix. The elf is going to bring this when we do a movie night. I got the kids a movie by Elf on the Shelf. And it was one that we didn't have. Like they have elf pets. And we have, we have the St. Bernard one. So I got them the reindeer one. And now they just came out with an Arctic fox. So I'm going to be on the hunt 
for those as well because it's also Mason's birthday in a couple of days and the elf brings like a big care package for him which was the first day of Hanukkah I had plans for that but Mason's birthday falls on the first day of Hanukkah so now I kind of had to move things around a little bit but I had all these like different plans of things for him to bring so I saw the little Rudolph snack mix and I thought my kids would like it it's peanut butter filled shapes of chocolate peanuts and pretzels and I think these were a dollar. The Dollar Tree has them too, um, for the, obviously for the same price. But while I was there, I just picked up two of them. So I think my kids are gonna like that. And then wait till you see this. I'm just throwing it around because I'm that excited. It's called Candy Cane Crunch. It was $2.50. It says great for baking, ice cream, hot cocoa, and more. And it is crushed up candy cane. That is ingenious. So, I just recently put out a cookbook if you are new with Vanessa over at Lemonade Mom and we did a holiday themed cookbook. And one of my favorite pictures in the cookbook was my peppermint thumbprint cookies. I put like Christmas lights underneath the baking rack and I just loved the way the pick came out. I'll pop it up right here and the cookbook itself is always listed in the description box because it's available on my website 50shadesofmom.com. But one of the biggest pains in the butt is crushing the darn candy canes. And I was making these cookies not in Christmas season, so I couldn't find candy canes. I had to get like starlight mints, the red and white shaped peppermints. Same concept, right? But here I am in my house, like finding everything under the sun, measuring, whatever. I finally put it in the food processor, but then it like pulverized it to dust. So it wasn't exactly the same as like pieces of candy cane, which is what I wanted. If I had this, it would have been a lifesaver for me, but for $2.50, it's crushed up candy cane for all of your Christmas baking needs. So I'm excited about that guy. And then Jake wanted me to see if I saw a stocking stuffer for Daryl, and so I saw this, and I thought this was super cute. It's for $2, and it's the Jelly Bellies, and it's Draft. So it's kind of like a beer bottle filled with what's supposed to be with beer-flavored jelly beans. I don't know if Daryl's gonna like this. He loves jelly beans. I don't know about beer flavored, but for $2, that's what Jake wanted me to look for as far as a stocking stuffer. I think I covered that. And then, speaking of Jake, for our last item, he, this is his favorite gummies of all time, and whenever my mom gets them, she gets them from Big Lots. And when I saw them, I was like, all right, this is the last, this is the big one in the center, all the little gummies around it, and it's gonna be like a $30 present full of gummies for this kid. But this is the brand, it's like Albanese or something and he loves them there's a watermelon i think it's this light green one is the watermelon and he talks about it all the time he loves it so, like when he gets these he fishes them all out he thinks they're seriously the best so i know when he sees this giant bag of these gummies he's <laughs> gonna be excited too all right that concludes my haul that was about 200 dollars 220 or something like that but I'm not going to make you guys watch me get up off the floor because my left foot has already been sleeping for a good five minutes already. So the sounds that are going to come out of my mouth are not going to be pretty. So let me stand up. All right, you guys. So this concludes this day of Vlogmas. I hope you enjoyed this extremely relaxed sit down Big Lots haul. But I did want to share it with you guys because if you do have a Big Lots, like I said, they have a lot of that cute stuff like the gingerbread houses and the red and green chips. I thought those were super, super cute. Great prices on wrapping paper. So some things I was like, hmm, I feel like I can probably get that priced somewhere else. But other things I was really impressed with. So if you have a Big Lots, I would check them out. Although, like I said, we're not trying to do a whole ton of shopping out. They do have a website. They have good deals. Last year I got my Christmas tree from Big Lots and all of my garland I got on Black Friday, like an amazing deal, really expensive garland for like 75% off. It was so, so good. So I love Big Lots. I wanted to be able to share my haul with you guys, but I am gonna run because I'm gonna go edit this video and get this up so you guys actually see this on day two. And then tomorrow for day three is us decorating the Christmas tree, which is the other half of today. So you're probably gonna see me in this shirt. Oh, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're gonna see me in my Santa Bod 
sweatshirt yes you are because i'm going to put that on but once jake is done with school today i'm gonna run over pick him up use the wi-fi over there to upload this to share it with you guys and then we're gonna come back here i already have pot roast cooking in the stove and we're gonna share with you guys the christmas tree but i'll show you all the downstairs stuff later i've been hiding in my bedroom trying to get this done and filmed so my kids didn't hear and i can still get a video out for you guys today so i love you all so much make sure to hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you are new because obviously vlogmas for me is till the 31st if i can make it and i got tons of fun stuff to share so i love you guys so much and i'll see you tomorrow bye